All right, bro. UFC Noche. Two title fights going on. We got the men's bantamweight title on the line. We got the women's flyweight title on the line. Ten fights in total taking place at the Madison Square Garden Sphere located in Las Vegas as part of Mexican Independence Day weekend. Um, Something that UFC has said that their staking claim to is one of their uh, you know, Dana White marquee events, claim. you know, from here going forward, they're always going to make sure that they put emphasis on this card, you know, similar to their international fight week or, you know, their Madison Square Garden cards that take place in New York, uh, their uh, end of the year fight, you know, they got, they got a lot, they got a few different, you know, marquee events that they put on and this is one of them. Um, this one being unique in its own right because it's taking place at the Sphere, which is supposed to be this super interactive, visual um, event center slash, you know, venue where you get one of a kind experiences, whether it's shows or movies, I'm assuming, or, or you know, um, um, plays or whatever the case may be. Uh, it's supposed to be it's a, a fucking spectacle. trash card, bro. Like it's, it's bullshit. It's fucking a ten fight card. It's a ten fight card. Okay. What the fuck are they doing? But that okay. But that is that is that the problem? Is it that it's only ten fights? Yes, or is, that's no? definitely a problem for sure. But or or is it that these ten fights aren't potent? They're not potent. And, and could he get even... away with the ten fight card if it was a more potent card? If if each fight from one to ten was fucking just a banger, these motherfucking fights are not bangers, bro. Like they're not good. Like it's trash. Sure. Like Rosas is the best fight, probably the best fight in the card. I'm not even sure, bro. Come on, my G. Like, come on, bro. Let's let's not even let's let's <clears throat> let's ease into this, bro. Like you said, are the fights after? This fight, I guess, are the bangers. Um, Edgar Chires versus Joshua good fight. Van. Good fight. Good fight. Yasmin Uregi versus Ketlin Souza. Good fight. Nah, my nigga. Manuel Torres versus Ignacio Palmeiras. Right. Good. good fight. Uh, Irene Aldana versus Norma Dumont. As a as Trash. a featured prelim. Featured prelim. Come on, bro. Like, why are we doing that? Um. To start out the main card, Ronaldo Rodriguez versus Ode Osborne. Solid. It's okay. I'm with it. Uh, Daniel Zalhuber going up against Esteban Rivovic. Good shit. Good fight. Uh, Brian Ortega against Diego Lopez. Mm -hmm. Good fight. Alexa Grasso going up against Valentina Shevchenko in the trilogy bout of uh, their flyweight championship. You know, like they've been competing for the title. Who gives a fuck? Like... No one gives a fuck about that fight, bro. Like, be honest with you, like, great, cool. It's a title fight, cool. But it's not the fight no one wants to see, you know what I mean? Like, it's not that shit. It's not the one. You know what I mean? It's not a fucking uh, Ivan Drago versus Rocky fucking fight. It's just a, like, a, okay, somebody's gonna fucking take this photo type shit, you know what I mean? Alexa Grasso is gonna beat fucking Shevchenko, and that is what it is. Like, I don't want to see that fucking fight. It's gonna be a decision fight. That fight will go to decision, for sure. I mean, that that's neither here nor there, I guess. I mean, I get it, but it's going to be a five-round decision fight. And and that doesn't necessarily mean anything bad. If they go to war, then they go to war. Not the last two war. fights were pretty decent. Trash. Oh, um, we got the main event, Sean O'Malley, Marab Duvalishvili. Great fight. Great fight. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. Is it a main event, not only for a Mexican themed card, but for a card uh, that's been billed as highly as this one by Dana White in the UFC? Is this one time spectacle that we may never see again, never done before? Uh, I mean, he said it was going to be the greatest sporting event, you know, that you ever seen. Love the evening! Yeah, no. He's fucking trash. Like, uh, like Dana White? Wait, wait, wait. Answer the question. 
Is this does no. this fit the bill for no. the main event? Absolutely not. Okay. This main event, like, don't get me wrong. This is a great fight. But we're not talking about just this fight. This fight is great. We're talking okay, about coupled what with, it should be. Coupled with the women's flyweight championship belt. I don't give a make, fuck about this, that stupid ass fucking fight. Better. No. Okay, now, do any of these fights following help make it better? No, none of them do. Rosas should have been in the... Uh, in the main event, like in the main card, um, go ahead, give me, give me your opinion. I want to hear sworn. I want to hear dumbass. You know, I could have sworn in episode thirty-one, sure, uh, that you can, you know, view either here shortly or it's out now. Um, you called me a glazer and all kinds of wild shit, and you just well, said that, that Rob Rosas was Jr. Fight. at nineteen years yeah. old and three and one in the UFC. Should be main eventing and or should have had his bout moved up to like a premier slot in the main card mm -hmm. because of what? But wipe your mouth first before you explain. Fuck you. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> um, I know this shit. Um, they're bad fights. Like they're not good. Like it's not. This is not a good card. With pay per views already being eighty bucks as is, and then I mean, you know the price of this card alone, and then what seems to be just you know rapidly increasing prices for cards. Um, do you think that the production that we're about to see is going to be something so? Uh, you know, different from what we're used to. That potentially it'll be used in um, you know, broadcasts to come. It was something that Dana White did say that you know he plans on moving some of this technology over. But do you think that we're gonna see some things that are going to you know, uh, basically you know, uh, are gonna be new innovations and in how. Absolutely MMA is broadcasted or you know presented to us. Absolutely as a fucking viewer. not. I don't know. No, no, it's gonna be trash. Like, um, I like the motherfuckers that are uh, 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 broadcasting it now. Like the the dudes that are videoing the uh, fights. That's dudes all the UFC. And then now, all of a sudden, he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna bring in fucking like Oscar winning." Fucking like a uh, broadcaster, fucking cameraman, whatever. Like, fuck you, bro. Like, that's it's gonna be terrible. I don't want to see that shit. I want a motherfucker like like UFC. The motherfuckers you already had hired because you hired them because they like UFC. You're hiring some fucking weirdo. Um, want some like Oscar shit? You know what I mean? They're not gonna do the same thing. Um, it's not going to be the same feel. Um, they're going to move away, um, when you're not supposed to. Um, it's fucking trash. I'm, I'm so disappointed in that particular part of the, like, yeah, I spent fucking $16 million on, like, fucking dudes filming. Motherfucker, like, people that like to watch fights, you don't got to spend 16 million. Sixteen million on that. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think the viewers from you know people watching on television or you know just I think it's gonna be garbage. What do you think their so you think their experience is gonna be garbage? It's gonna be fucking garbage. Okay. What do you I, think about the folks who are gonna be watching it live? What is their experience gonna be like? Outside of the excitement that comes with watching a UFC event live. I think if they're there, it's going to be all right, depending on where they see or where they're sat at. Um, but, bro, like, it's not, it's a dumbass arena to fucking, like, put UFC fights in. Okay. Well, with that being said, it has been said and I want to say this, you know, uh, I'm gonna. It's like more like I'm gonna theater. paraphrase like, this as best I can, you know, on Dana White's behalf. But I want to say that he said that 
this sphere event is kind of mostly due in part to a misscheduling and or a underhanded move by Canelo and his team uh uh I want to say that uh we're literally hawking and targeting this date at what usually is UFC's home venue T-Mobile Arena they were able to secure that arena literally as the Noche card was taking place last year this is what this is what was was alleged is that as that card was taking place last year um Canelo and Co were already uh booking the T-Mobile event which would have been the destination for this year's card um they were already booking the, the T-Mobile arena for the fight that they have scheduled the same night as this Noche card um so that's kind of the reason why this is taking place at the sphere so do you say Boo Conello, or do you cheer him because you know fair play chess move, or are you just like Dana? You still could have found somewhere else to move this instead of the sphere, and you got a lot on the line with what you're claiming this event is going to bring, <laughs> you know, for spectators live and you know on broadcast alike. Good job, Canelo Alvarez. Like you're a uh, uh, Canelo. You're solid. You mean me? You made it happen. Um, as you should. On Mexican apparently, this is actually a favor from the same people, uh, in in business, you know, at MGM, who gave Canelo and them this date at the T-Mobile. This is kind of somebody higher up who's trying to, you know, basically, uh, make it right between them and the UFC. Uh, because Dana views this as a, uh, you know, a Bush lead tactic, and sure. uh, you know, so therefore, in order to keep the relationship, you know, intact, uh, a higher up member of MGM was able to, you know, kind of give Dana, you know, the sphere in kind of like, kind of like a consolation to, you know, what would have been the T-Mobile arena. And I'm assuming maybe them going into the sphere with an entirely different event that they would have, you know, pumped with what could have potentially been either that regular 14 card fight, that 14 fight card slate and or 10 action fucking pack cards with the name and star power. Do you feel like that okay. would have went from literally That's top it. to bottom like, UFC 300, you know, okay. Cody Garbrandt, Davidson Figueredo, how do you first feel, fight of the prelims How do you feel shit. about the fucking, the sphere card? You think it's good? It's, it's good for a, um, Mexican Independence Day themed card. No, it's not. Um, I don't no. necessarily think it's pay-per-view fucking, Worthy? uh, level. I don't think it's that trash. it's. Once fucking in a lifetime seen? potential, you know, spectacle potential. No, not, not that. I don't think that it also, you know, should have been, you know, necessarily the what first event talking? held at the sphere. What the or, fuck are we talking about? Or if we're gonna if we're gonna do that, like I don't know if um what the O'Malley, fuck are we talking about? Bro, let me finish. I don't know if O'Malley and uh Devalish Billy were supposed to be, you know, the ones to headline that Great fight. kind of card. Great fight. But trash card. A 10th fight card. This is this is your shit. This is your 16 million fucking dollar card, right? At the fucking at the 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 the, the a uh, what's it called? The fucking the spear, right? Mm -hmm. 10 fights and not even good fights, like trash fights. Two Two fucking like title fights. Well, it should be like this four or five. This is bullshit. Like, bro, like, I love the UFC. I love watching motherfuckers fight. That's a trash card. 
I'm so disappointed in like what that card is now at this point. Um, obviously I bet on it. Obviously I put my picks on it. Good, fine. But what what the fuck are we doing here? Like what like and like I'm not saying that already we should be fired, but like like you guys got to figure it out. Like you got like you have so many fighters. Like there are so many people that want to fucking like be in the ring, and you could only get. 20 people, right? Because there's 10 fights. <coughs> Excuse me. And those are your best 10 fights for this card. It's mm. in the fucking sphere. That's going to be the best fucking card that's ever been live. Or like, you're never going to see this shit again. Why? Like, get the fuck about it. What? Why are you talking like you ain't going to watch UFC going forward? Like, either because of this card or if they were to keep up at this pace. My like, nigga, I'm not saying I'm not going to wash it, my why, nigga. Like, why you got so much uh, angst and, and, you know, passion in your voice? It's just, it's bullshit. It's just UFC, my man. Who the bell? Took your fucking pussy in, nigga. Like, <laughs> fuck you, nigga. Like, I want them to be the fucking best. I want to see, like, I want to see great fights. I want to see the best of the best. I, I don't want to fucking, like, see garbage. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see the motherfuckers who want to fucking fight. And, uh... Whatever, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're, you're better at this, uh... Dang. I don't really got nothing else to say. I feel like we covered a lot on that topic. I'm interested Fucking to see tired what people shit. say. Uh, let us know how you feel about the Sphere card. Let us know how you feel about uh, this. You know, fight cards taking place at the Sphere. Let us know if you think you're. This is gonna, you know, be uh, people's money's worth. And uh, yeah, just give us your thoughts in general. Rose Talk MMA.